I like it too, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, and frogs. My name is Darius P, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 combo tutorial. We rocking with Kenshi and the Sub Zero cameo in this one. Let's get to it. We starting off with Slice and Dice, the 4 2 2. Very, very easy. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Slice and Dice, we going into Sub Zero's forward cameo, Iced Out. Very, very easy, right? Let's look at that one more time. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after we freeze him with Iced Out, we bring in Sento out with Summon Ancestor, the down back one. Very, very easy, right? Okay, now let's go from Slice and Dice. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after we bring Sento out with Summon Ancestor, we want to hit him with Spirit Bop, the Sento one. Just like that. Also, hold forward when you're doing the Spirit Bop, right? And also, if you're doing any combo with this move or the Spirit Bop, Always hold forward when you do those moves, if you are doing it like that, right? Because there is some type of weird bug that will allow your opponent to block right after you do that move, even when they're not supposed to be able to, right? Let's look at that one more time. So I, I just hold forward as I do that because it just stops your opponent from being able to block when they're not supposed to be able to block, right? Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Spirit Bob, we going down the middle. The 4-2. Gonna look just like that, right? Absolutely beautiful. Let's look at that one more time. I'm trying to see if he'll block it, actually. Be like that. He's not supposed to be able to block right there, right? He's not supposed to be able to. But sometimes they are now from iced out. Just like that, now from slice and dice. And just make sure you let go of Ford immediately after you press the spear box. Let's look at that one more time. Now. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after we go down the middle, we going into Soaring Sento, the down back three. Gonna look just like that, right? Absolutely beautiful. Now from the Spirit Bop. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. No, let's go from Iced Out. Absolutely beautiful now from Slice and Dice all the way down to that Soaring Sento. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Soaring Sento, we going into Lunging Soul, the Sento 3. That beautiful pop-up right there. Now let's go from Soaring Sento into the line. Does this even work? Well, it does work, but will it work right, right? Okay, that is the timing right there. When since well, no, when Kenshi is completing that 360, you're like, look at this 360. He does a 360. Right when Kenshi is completing that 360, that is when you want to press the input for the lunging so the sento three now from down the middle just like that now from spirit bop absolutely beautiful now from iced out just like that now let's go from slice and dice Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after lunging, so we are going into chest cracker, the standing four, just like that. Now you will need to do 
a full dash forward before you go into that standing four, right? And also this will put you on the other side of your opponent and it will put your opponent in between you and center, right? So a full dash forward and then that standing four. gonna look just like that absolutely beautiful right and you also want like during the combo you will be able to see it a bit easier or actually a lot easier right and you want to press the stand the inputs for the standing four right as your opponent is at since i mean kenshi's head level right you don't want to hit them when they're at kenshi's head level but you do want to press it when they are at Kenshi's head level, they will drop just a bit after that, and then that standing four will hit them now from down the middle. Just like that, now from the spirit box. Absolutely beautiful, now from iced out. Okay, now let's go from Slice and Dice. Now, let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it a move. Okay, so after Chess Cracker, we're going into another Spirit Bop, another Cento one. But since we can't put two of the same moves on the screen at the exact same time, I just put another standing one on the screen, right? Just know that is another Spirit Bop, another Cento one. Now we will be on the other side, right? And it's gonna look just like that, but obviously your opponent will be in the air. So let's go from Lunging Soul. Gonna look just like that. Okay, now from Soaring Sento. Gonna look just like, I mean, absolutely beautiful. I love this character, right? Now from down the middle. Just like that. Okay, now from that spirit box. Now from iced out. Just like that. Now let's go all the way from slice and dice. Absolutely beautiful. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after that brutal, no, after that, that second spirit, Bob, that second Cento one, we going into another, well, you can't do it like that, another down the middle, right? So I, mean, I don't even know if this will actually work. That will not actually work when you're doing it just like that, but obviously your opponent will be in there and it will work during the combo, right? So we have to go from Lunging Soul. Gonna look just like that. Also, you can't put the move on the screen on the screen another time. So that's why you don't see it on there another time. Now from down, no, from Soaring Sento. Just like that, now from down the middle. Just like that, now from Spirit Bop. Now from Iced Out. Just like that, now all the way from Slice and Dice. Absolutely beautiful, already at 385. Let's look at that one more time. Now, 
Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after that second down the middle, we want to hit him with double dose, the Cento 2. And your opponent will be in the air, right? So let's go all the way. We have to go all the way from lunging soul down to that double dose. Just like that. And you can see me spamming that too. Sometimes you must spam it, right? Now all the way from Soaring Sento. Just like that. Now from down the middle. Okay, now from Spirit Bop. Now from the iced out. Okay, now all the way from slice and dice. Four oh four, and we're not done yet. Let's look at that one more time. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so finally, we're gonna finish this combo off with double tap the forward four. That move right there, right now, we must go from lunging so because your opponent must be in the air for this combo to work, right? Just like that. Okay, now let's go from soaring Sento. Okay, now from down the middle. Absolutely, that was 404 on its own now from the spirit box. That was 434, my goodness, now from iced out. Now let's do the entire combo from slice and dice all the way down to that double tap. Let's do this. Four thirty-eight. No meter used. <laughs> no meter used. Let's look at that one more time. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video and would like to watch another one right now, you can do so by clicking on any one of the four boxes that you see on your screen right now. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video.